In just under two weeks, Maine will begin its bicentennial year. And we've been reporting on the people and events leading up to Maine becoming a state. There's one key piece of the story we have not shown you until now. Here's New Center Maine's Don Carrigan. 200 years ago this month, Maine adopted the state constitution. It's on display now for the bicentennial in the lobby of the state archives. This, of course, is a photographic copy. To see the real thing, you have to go underground. We went to the bottom of the building with former state archivist Dave Cheever. It's like going into the bat cave. To the vault. This is where the most sensitive of our historical documents are kept. And in one of the long drawers is the source of those display photos. This is the document to which you were referring. It is the formal version of the Maine Constitution, written by hand, of course, by a Scribner, Cheever says, and written on vellum made from calf skin so it would last. This is the original Constitution of the state of Maine in its final form. But Cheever said this is the formal copy of the Constitution, meaning there is another. It's amazing. What you really want to look at is this. This is the working copy. This is what they argued about when they were sitting in convention in Portland. In October of 1819. This, this is the Constitution of the state of Maine. Wow. This one is written on cotton paper, so Cheever says it is safe to touch with our hands. Written most likely with a quill pen as the Constitutional Convention, meeting at the old First Parish Meeting House in Portland, was debating and voting. And as they went, they glued it together. So in total, it comes up to 18 feet long. This is what Maine people voted on in December of 1819. And on this roll are the details of how the new state government should be set up, and more important, what rights the people should have. What did you think the first time you got to see and hold this? Um, I, the first time I looked at this is, is like the first time I look at this today. It, you get goosebumps. You get goosebumps because this is the formative document. Which means this version, the official formal copy, isn't exactly the original. It was created after Maine became a state to have a finished, formal-looking document for all time. Yet, this one was nearly lost until it was discovered in the 1960s in a building in Augusta. This one, they believe, was found rolled up, which we had done, uh, in an abandoned elevator shaft. And they said, this is not the place for Maine's founding document. Cheever says that led to the creation of the state archives that exist today. Both documents are now safe in the vault, and special high-resolution photos have been made of each one. They're available to study and appreciate, a document that defines the basic rights of Mainers. We have added some over 200 years, but the essence of what was decided in 1819 is still with us, locked away for safekeeping but still very much alive. In Augusta, Don Kerrigan, New Center, Maine. Now, I think Don was hoping to find a treasure map on the back of one of those pages, but I don't think it worked out. I cringed every time he touched it. I'm like, should you be touching that? <laughs> they didn't let him bring a cup of coffee in either. Yeah. I don't, you know, I guess I get that.